Hello, beautiful Pisces. We're getting ready to do your reading. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. We are looking at your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions with you. So let's see what we have for our Pisces friends. Let's see. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, the energy is the strength card, Pisces, nice, Leo energy. Um, taming the beast, finding the place within to be able to really own and really enjoy a relationship that could last through the eternity. This, the number eight is the infinity symbol. Uh, oftentimes people have met, you may have met your person or spent many lifetimes with them, but it looks like you could manifest the relationship at this time in your life. The strength card is really wanting to walk side by side with somebody who may even be very different than you, uh, finding a path to enjoy each other thoroughly and to still be yourselves and be very honest in a relationship to enjoy it for everything that it has to offer spirits message to you is adjacent possibility so pisces we know you're highly desirable we know that your person may have uh, adjacent possibilities you may have adjacent possibilities but right now with the strength card i feel as though you your person wants you hostilities okay so there may have been an argument there may be a separation at this point you might just simply be in this energy of being in um, a disagreement that you can't quite get past it looks as though it's making both of you very upset though good news is with the strength card you should get through this energy the sun card there you go you know it's really important to remember that even in the best of relationships, there will always be differences because we are different people. And it's just important. We'll clarify all the negative cards, if there are any, um, and see what we can learn. Because the whole point of tarot readings is to help you be successful in love. There is a fun fact that I put at the front of my videos in the title section. Uh, and it's always, you know, it's feng shui or it might be a tip for research about how to have happiness and love this month or this week. It's the Gottman Institute tip. You'll see it if you look at your screen right when the screen opens. All right. So getting down to the tarot reading, King of Pentacles energy. So Pisces, your person is very grounded. Your person is successful. King of Pentacles energy, the feminine version of it is very much the energy of uh, feminine Taurus. It has a very strong Empress quality to it. This is a person who's very grounded, who's willing and giving to the relationship. They see the value in this relationship. They want it. They know that they want you. Crossing the energy here, we have the Tower card. And we have, it looks like an argument has taken place because we see hostilities, very different viewpoints, somewhat similar, but very, very substantive in how important it is to you. At the bottom of the reading, Pisces, we see the Four of Pentacles. Your person is holding back somewhat. There may be some disagreement about money. It is Capricorn energy. Could be a disagreement about how both of you should be conducting your careers. But, you know, Capricorn energy is energy of being determined to be successful. But it looks like you feel your person's holding back. The Queen of Swords energy, oftentimes the Queen of Swords can speak in very blunt terms. It is Libra energy. It's keeping things balanced. Something feels unbalanced right now, and it is creating dissension. We have your person, Pisces. It's very emotional. They're not showing it. They look cool, calm, and collected. They are very much letting you know that the ship has come in, that the two of that you, they're choosing you. However, we can see there's a lot of rough ocean churning inside of them. There's a lot of rough emotions that they're holding back on that Scorpio energy. The Tower card is Aries energy. The World card is, excuse me, the Queen of Swords is Libra energy. So something seems out of balance here. Somebody's holding back more than the other. In the near future, Five of Coins. What is going on, Pisces? That is your person feeling very much left in the cold. So this argument looks like you haven't spoken in a few days or could be even longer. It could be uh, five weeks. 
Oh, that's sweet energy. Pisces, we have Cancerian energy. The High Priestess is oftentimes thought to be a female magician. Um, it's nurturing energy. It's kind energy. Both of you see each other as your sh ships that have arrived in the harbor. You both really care about each other. You both really love each other. You want to nurture each other. The situation shows that there is a burden that needs to be released at this time. It could be something that someone feels guilty over, but it is definitely letting go of some sort of hostility, some sort of argument, letting go, recognizing that the two of you can have very different opinions. They can be radically different, but they don't have to tear the two of you apart. The Sun card says that your connection is off the charts good. This is the best relationship either of you have ever had, and you do have the strength to get through this. Your person's biggest fear is that you are not invested in them very highly. The outcome at this time is devil energy. So we see devil energy when you're in a stalemate situation because the devil card in the Rider Waite is two people chained. To me, both of you are of very different opinions about what things should look like. It looks as though you've come to an impasse. It looks as though you're not speaking much. It's very awkward at this point in time. Um, it doesn't look like you've broken up, but there may have been the threat of feeling that you're so different that you should break up. All right. So we're going to go ahead and clarify this for you, Pisces. Tough energy. What is this adjacent adjacent possibilities? Okay. So somebody may want to take a path that would require the two of you to be apart. Very interesting. Okay, so what is the adjacent possibilities? We're going to pull three cards to clarify this. What does adjacent possibilities mean? It means you could also have more than one option, Pisces, and that that's causing a big ruckus in the relationship if your person doesn't feel that you're choosing them. Son of Swords, that's a run with scissors card. Somebody spoke very bluntly about like, well, if you don't want me, then just go ahead and do whatever you're going to do. It would be that sort of Daughter of Swords, you know, Page of Swords, very mischievous energy, very immature energy, but speaking out of turn, again, runs with scissors. Your person may have even found a text message. They may have found something on your phone or seen something on your phone. What is causing the hostility? Let's get one more card, though, for adjacent possibilities. Father of Cups, King of Cups energy. So something scorpionic here, something that maybe it might be an old lover, somebody from the past, something that died and is a person who's trying to come back and contact you again, a person that may have caused trouble in your relationship and they're surfacing, they're surfacing again as a possibility, Pisces, for your person or you. What are the hostilities about? Daughter of Cups. Daughter of Cups is a page of cups. It's communication. A communication or a text that was seen that looks like it's really, really upsetting. Now, it's also that you could, one of you could have sent something, but it really looks like somebody has observed something they didn't expect to see in the way of a romantic text, a romantic interest, somebody who's trying to get your attention, Pisces. The Four of Cups, though, says that the two of you will clear the air. If this were upright, it would mean that both of you are stuck, but it does look like you have clarification. Upright, it's very toxic. It means that both of you are sort of just living with it and trying to ignore it, but, you know, it looks like you really cleared the air. So let's see what the Tower card is about. The Tower card, what is a sudden epiphany, sudden bit of knowledge, sudden threat to the relationship, sudden argument, disagreement, something shocking, shock and awe, not in a good way typically. Six of Swords, okay, Pisces, you or your person were thought to have moved on from something that was a threat to your relationship. Wheel of Fortune says that both of you wanted to create a better environment. You had the strength. You worked through something. And this connection, what else is this tower about? The Death card. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. 
So let's see here. This could be a person who's losing their job too, but I really think this is a, this is just, I think this is pure love. So what is a death card about? Now we have to dig into that. What's a death card about? The star card. You're dealing with an Aquarius. There's a death and rebirth. There may be something that is structurally causing fear in the relationship. This relationship looks like, you know, somebody might be saying to the other that you really love each other, but you just don't think you can go the distance here. All right, so let's look and see what the Scorpio King is about. It's appeared here twice. Third party, that's what I thought. Third party, somebody may be having a relationship outside of a marriage or with a married person. Um, Ten of Coins is somebody who's very successful. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Judgment card, letting something go, releasing something. Releasing toxic energy for sure. Wow. Okay, so you might be dealing with a Capricorn. We have Capricorn and the Devil here twice. Bad karma, being left in the cold. So it's hard to tell whether this energy is you, Pisces, or vice versa. So please let me know in the comments below. Oh man, this just looks like somebody is doing something very unexpected in regards to a situation you thought was dead over, that you had really re revisited this for the last time, but it's alive and well and unhealthy. All right. The two of you really love each other, there's no doubt there. Why is the devil card here? The devil card is usually when one person wants to control another and it can get to the point of toxicity of that. The person who's being controlled oftentimes will be very passive aggressive in fighting it. Okay, so what is the devil card about? What does that mean here? We've seen it twice. Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction, not moving forward. Pisces, it looks like your person is feeling very much in the energy that they're very hung up on the fact that they think that there was deception. Five of Wands, competition, a third party. Again, marriage is coming up. So somebody may, you might be in a third party situation. It might be that simple for many of you. The Daughter of Pentacles says that, you know, at the end of the day, you understand each other's opinion, but it just looks like a breakup here. It looks like something has come to an end. It looks as though in the near future, karma is going to, you know, come about here. Let's look and see, Pisces, what this death card, the judgment card, the devil card is. What is your person actually doing with you? So what is your person bringing to the table with you? We're going to look at the dark side. Lady of Song, they truly love you, Pisces. What is this? Okay, the Lady of Song. Ah, uh, the juggler. Okay, so your person, Pisces, is juggling another. They really adore you. They think you're exquisite. You know, they, they love you. Uh, they see you as a bright spot in their life. The Star Fairy, they see you as really a very beautiful being, somebody that they is highly illuminated, somebody that they desire. You're a rock star. That's a star card in the Tarot deck. Lady of Leprechauns, you may be dealing with somebody who is just very inclined to not be able to stay within the parameters of a relationship. The Lady of Leprechauns wants somebody out of their own uh, the lady of leprechauns the meaning of it is she tries to seduce human lovers so the lady of leprechauns is somebody who really um is very attractive to many many people sometimes she wears a mask sometimes she doesn't so your person may have just been hiding an awfully lot it looks like for some of you, you may discover that your person is still married. You may still be married. However, whatever this is happening here, is that you're thinking that this person has been dishonest with you. And at the end of the day, whoever ends it, 
it looks like you know it could be either of you but it looks like an ending here is at least at least for now I don't really see it taking off again very readily I think this is most likely a relationship that's completely ended so Pisces I'm sorry that happened to you I really am it's kind of a tough reading if it's not your reading hope to see you next week uh, again it's like a buffet table if it's not yours you know leave it alone uh, and come back next week. These are weeklies. So sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Pisces. Thanks. Bye-bye.